This is a video test run of a Lenovo ThinkPad T530 for use in 2021 and onward. Here we have the Lenovo ThinkPad T530 opening up. This one's in very good condition. Uh, typical ThinkPad look and style. This features a mini display port with audio, VGA, 2x USB 3.0, 1x USB 2.0. A smart card reader, Wi-Fi toggle switch. On this side of the case, we have an RJ45 Ethernet port, a CD slash DVD RW optical drive, a 3.5 millimeter combo jack headphone and mic, a 401 SD card reader, Express card reader, 34 millimeter, always on USB 2.0. There's the six cell battery. Uh, slot that is empty at the moment and of course the power plug input here. We have the two options for backlit keyboard and third option for work light It's a nice feature if you like working in the dark and we have the characteristic red track point Which is both fun and entertaining to use if you choose to I like it once in a while and our 720p webcam. Here's our fast boot. I should note this has a 128 gigabyte Samsung MSATA SSD installed underneath the keyboard and I have had a lot of success installing MSATA SSDs as boot drives. This also has a 250 gigabyte Seagate hard drive as extra storage. Um, as you can see, we have a very fast boot, and as long as you have a solid internet connection, you can get to looking up pictures of cats right away. All the important stuff. And we have a VGA port for option for dual display, along with that mini display port with audio that I mentioned before. I should note that with the mini display port, you can get a HDMI adapter for it and run to a television with audio, just as you would with a regular HDMI port with audio. There's always the option of using this for streaming things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc., and using it as an entertainment device as well as a small workstation. And of course we have the optical drive to burn CDs, burn DVDs, uh, load software, in this case load a DVD that I haven't watched in some time. Um, you can multitask. Uh, shown before I was using LibreOffice. You can of course use any kind of Microsoft Office suite, Office 365 or 2019, and it will work just fine. Uh, this is just an example of uh, working while watching a video. And I also thought I'd showcase the USB 3.0 fast transfer speeds. Of course, these aren't the largest files, which is why it's moving so fast, but you will get consistent speeds, and it's nice. So onto the games. With Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics, you can play games like this uh, Walking Dead Bridge Creator. I think I'm getting that right. I'll write it down on the screen. So just take a look at what I'm doing here. This game works really well. Running uh, benchmarks on this laptop will produce unfavorable results for gaming, but I think that's more aligning with uh, modern, more demanding games. There, of course, is a myriad of different games to play that are like this that will run just fine. Another example is Left 4 Dead 2, an old classic. Um, of course, this game runs well on a lot of devices, new and old, but there's a lot of 3D graphics here, and on the T530, you can run uh, 1080p quite easily, and it runs quite fast, well over 60 frames per second. Six. 
still have fun shooting zombies. You can also link up with friends and play games like Overcooked. Not a very demanding game, but again, you can play this in 1080p quite fluidly and still enjoy the lush uh, colors and 3D graphics that the game has to offer. So, though you can't play uh, new, very in-demand titles that would regularly be played on consoles or uh, more higher-end gaming PCs, you can of course have a lot of fun playing with friends and other people um, with this setup alone. Of course, having a solid state drive installed really helps. On top of the MSATA SSD uh, as a boot drive for Windows, you can install a second uh, 2.5 inch SSD in the hard drive bay if you want some really fast speeds. So I guess this is goodbye. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can use in 2021. You don't need the latest and greatest to do what you want to do. Thanks a lot for watching.